what I'd like to do now is cover what you should be telling your growers when they bring pumpkins to your way off, what the proper pallet would be to make sure that things are moved easily and accessible at your way off site. As you can see here, I have a pallet. This is my pallet of choice, a Walmart pallet. It has four inches of depth from the top of this board to the bottom of the top boards. What that does is that allows the pallet jack to get in here smoothly. You notice it only has one rib down the middle. Try and avoid getting two rib, middle rib pallets. That does not get the pallet jacks in. Make sure it's thick enough. This pallet should be accessible from all four sides. You can see on the side, it's the same as it is on the ends. This is very important. Make sure the growers know to help the way off sites out, they need to be getting these pallets that are accessible from all four sides with a pallet jack. Now after that, they can go ahead and they can load their pumpkin. They can put a sheet of plywood on top, a 48 by 50, 48 by 50, 60 is plenty big enough to get a, a pumpkin of any size. And we'll go over here and take a look at this. A pallet already loaded with the thousand plus pound pumpkin on it. You see, I've used the 40 by 48. If the bottom that hits the ground is only necessary part that needs to be on top of the pallet. It can hang over either side. The forklift drivers and whoever's unloading them should, will take precaution at the way off. You also see I have two sheets of styrofoam. The pumpkin will adhere into this as it grew in the patch, so it's plenty supported. You do not need thick pieces of foam rubber to impede the progress of a lifting ring at the site. This pallet is very well ready to go to weigh off and put it on a scale.